We bless the name of the Lord. Wonderful Savior, wonderful Redeemer. Our Father God is worthy, mighty Savior. There is no other God else like our Father, our Savior, our Redeemer. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good, mighty Savior. He's worthy, worthy to be praised, worthy to be worshipped. Worthy to be magnified. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, glory. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And bless the name of the Lord. Our mighty Savior, our mighty Redeemer, Great Father, Father of glory, ancient of days, praise Master Jesus, glory, 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 hallelujah, mighty Savior. May the Lord bless you all. Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah, to the Lamb of God, we bless the name of the Lord. He's worthy, he's mighty, he says, and it is wonderful. We bless God for God. May the Lord bless you all. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Glory be to God on highest. Hallelujah to the name of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mighty Savior. May the Lord bless you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good, mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. Our Savior, our Redeemer. There is no other God as like our Father. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be worshipped. He's worthy to be adored. He's worthy to be magnified. Hallelujah. Please, I would like to have a word of prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father. The King of glory, ancient of this. Father God, there is no other God except you. There is no other God to compare to you, Father. Father God, I thank you for each and every one of your sons, your daughter, Father. Father, for, for, for presenting at your presence right now, Almighty God. That I thank you for each and every one of us, O oh Lord. Father God, I thank you for this hour, for this moment that you know you brought us right now in your presence, O oh Lord, to come and hear from you, mighty God. Father God, I just want to thank you, Father, for blessing us with another blessed day, another glorious day. Father, you are beautiful. Father, come and have your way in the name of Jesus. Christ. Father God, we love you. We bless you in the spirit to each and every one of us, O oh Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. I have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. His worthy, His worthy, His worthy. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, bless God. Bless God. Bless God. Bless God. Hallelujah. So, right now, please uh, join me with Him. Please, if you have your hymn book, Please, if you have your hymn book, please open to the, the, the topic of the hymn book, the title, I will praise him. I will praise him. Please, if you have your hymn book, please join me. Oh, take your hymn book and open uh, and let us sing to the glory of God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless Almighty God. God is good. Mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer.
I we praise him. I we praise him. Praise the Lord for sinners sleep. Giving glory to the people for his luck and wash away our sin. When I was Praise Master Jesus. When I saw the cleansing fountain open wide well for all my sin, I obeyed the Spirit's warfare. When he said, We thou be clean, I we praise him, I we praise him. Praise the Lord for sinners sleep. Glory to the heart of people for his blood can wash away his sin. Though the way seems straight and narrow, all I claim was swept away. My ambition, plans, and wishes, and my faith is. And my feet are chastely. I we praise him. I we praise him. Praise the Lord for sinners sleep. Give the glory to ye people, for his blood can wash away his sin. Bless, bless the be in the name of Jesus. I am so glad he took me in. He is forgiving my He is forgiving my transgressions. He has made my heart from sin. I we praise him. I we praise him. Praise the Lord for sinners sleep. Giving glory to ye people, for his blood can wash away his sin. Glory, glory to the Father. Glory, glory to the Son. Glory, glory to the Spirit. Glory to the three one. Ah, we praise him. Ah, we praise him. Praise the Lamb for sinners sleep. Giving glory to ye people. For his blood can wash away each sin. Ah, we praise him. Ah, we praise him. Praise the Lord for sinners sleep. Give the glory to ye people, for his blood can wash away his sin. Ah, amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. You and I, we will praise our Father. We will praise our Savior, our Redeemer. He's worthy. Our Father God is worthy, worthy to be praised, worthy to be worshipped, worthy to be adored, worthy to be magnified. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be worshipped. He's worthy to be adored. He's worthy to be magnified. We bless the name of the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord. He's worthy. Hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless God for God. Hallelujah. Beloved, I thank God for another beautiful day. We bless the name of the Lord for bringing you and I together again to sit at the feet of our lovely Jesus, to hear from Almighty God that loves you and I, our Father, Almighty God, as of of this, we bless his holy name. So the word almighty God has placed in my heart to deliver to you and to myself today. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So the word of the Lord, dear, the title of the, the title of the message, let not your heart be troubled. That is the title of the message. 
Let not your heart be troubled. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. You know, um, for you and I see what is going on right now on this earth. Praise Master Jesus. But the word of the Lord encourage you and I not to be troubled. You and I should not be troubled. We should face our heart. We should face our face. We should face our faith. Look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. So as Lord Jesus Christ, before he left this earth, he, he promised you and I that he's coming back again. He's coming back to take you and I home. We bless the name of the Lord. So he said to you and I in his word that you and I, we should not let our heart be troubled. Things are happening. Praise Master Jesus. Many things are happening that evil things are going on on this earth. You and I that know our God, we should not be troubled. We should put our hope, we should put our, our mind, our heart, what he promised you and I, we should hold on to him. Because the word of the Lord told you and I, heaven and earth shall pass away, but the word of the Lord shall never pass away. The word of the Lord remains the same, sure. And the word of the Lord he told you and I in the book of Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, the word of the Lord told you and I says, the word that proceeds out of the mouth of our Father, Almighty God, shall never return back to his voice. It shall accomplish to where he wants it to accomplish, where he sent it to. So as he told you and I, we should not let our heart be troubled. Whatever you and I, we are seeing right now, that happening right now, things are going really somehow on this earth right now. So we should not be troubled. We should put our heart, we should put our heart and our trust in our Father, Almighty God. Let us hold on unto the word of the Lord. It shall surely come to pass. As he promised you and I don't to trouble, he knows why. Because the moment you and I, we are fearful, we are open door for the enemy of our soul. Because uh, fear is the one that the enemy, that fear is the, is the, is the gate, that uh, one of the gates that the enemy used to enter the children of God's lives. Because if he, can, if he could get you to get yourself tangled with fear, Fear of this, fear of your family, fear of your what, what will happen to you, your family, what will happen to your job, what will happen to you, your business, what will happen to you, your neighborhood. You don't know. Fear, if you just now, you open to the, that, that door, that gate of fear to enter in your life, it will grip, it will just grip you. That even for you to stay in your own house, you are fearful. So you and I, we should not allow the enemy to grip you and I with fear. And so that God says to you and I, Lord Jesus Christ said, we are going to read the word of the Lord in the book of John, John chapter 14. As the, Jesus Christ promised you and I, we should not let our heart be troubled. No matter what is what we are saying, no matter what we are seeing around us, we should not be We should not let our heart be troubled. Because when you let your heart be troubled, trouble of this, trouble of that, trouble of this, trouble of this, what do you think the enemy is doing? He's clapping. He says, yes, because this child of God doesn't know. He stand in the Lord. He doesn't know he stand in his Father, Almighty God. Because Father God said, the Lord Jesus Christ said, don't let your heart be troubled. What should you and I should do? We should put our faith in his word. Praise Master Jesus. He, Almighty God, I promise you, is greater than our enemies. 
The word of the law, see, promise you and all that say to you and all that greater is he, Jesus, that is he knows that he, the Satan, that is in the world. So if you and I believe the word of the Lord, so, so we have an echo. So we should not be worried. We should not doubt. We should believe our Father. That greater is Almighty God that is in me than He that is in the world. Than the trouble that I'm seeing right now. Than the situations that I'm passing through right now. These are unpleasant situations. So, what you and I have to do, believe the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Let us see the word of the Lord. If you have your Bible with you, please follow me. Let us open to the word of God in the book of John. St. John, the book of John. John chapter 14, verse 1, 2, 3, and 4. We bless the name of the Lord. He's worthy. Mighty God is wonderful Savior. We bless God, he's, he's worthy. So the book of John, John chapter 14. Hallelujah. John chapter 14. We bless the name of the Lord. I read in Jesus' name. Praise Master Jesus. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God. Believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. Six. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Not a, a, no man cometh, no man cometh unto the Father, but by me. Praise Master Jesus. We thank God for God. We thank God for his word. We bless the name of the Lord. So the word of the Lord told you and I that you and I, we should not fear. We should not let our heart be troubled. Lord Jesus Christ told you and I, as you and I believe for our God, we know God is our God, is our Savior, is our Redeemer. As you and I believe in him, we should believe in him, Jesus. As we believe in God, we should believe in Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. If you are the one, you are out there, you said you are a Christian, but you don't believe in Jesus. You know, many of many of uh, religions, they will say they are Christians and they, 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 they love God, but Jesus Christ is not the Son of God. Jesus Christ is not God. Uh, they call Jesus somehow, they, they call Jesus an angel or something like this. Please. The word of the Lord is telling you, Jesus Christ is the one that's speaking here. He's the one that spoke here. He said, you that believe in God, me that believe in God, I should believe also in him, Jesus. Not only now I am believing in God, not believing in Jesus. He says to me and you, as I believe in God, I should believe in him also. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. So as Jesus Christ says here, that you and I, we should believe in him. We should not let our heart be troubled. We should not let our heart be heavy because of the things that are going around, because of the things that you and I, the situation that you and I see, 
moving around, going around the news that we are hearing. No good news. We should trust in him, the author and the finisher of our faith. He will move and move able. He will shake and shake able. That matter that you think it will not be solved, that matter, that problem that you think, ah, this problem, this is it. I will, this problem will never end. You will see, Father, the moment you are putting your trust in Jesus, Father God will put an end in that problem in Jesus' name. You, he will put that, he, the, he will put end in that in that problem that you think is too high, is too wide. That you now you will glorify the Lord. You now and and I we will testify the goodness of Almighty God. Hallelujah, mighty Savior. He's worthy. So he told you and I said, in the, my father's house are uh, many mansions. If it were not so, I would have uh, told you, I go to prepare a place for you. Master Jesus Christ is coming back again. If you are the one child of the most high God, you are living your, your Christian life carelessly. Please. As from now, as from now, today, make sure you and I, we should take our Christian life very seriously. Because our master said he's coming back. He's coming back to take you and I where he is right now. He's coming back to take you and I there that you and I will be, be with, you and I will be with him enjoying from everlasting to everlasting. So, let us take our spirit in our spiritual life, our spiritual life, our Christian life. Let us take it seriously. We should not take the back of our hand and hold the Christian life. Because when you take the back of your hand and hold something, 100% is going to slip off. But when you we take when you now you take your hand, okay? With your you hold you the what is in your hand, you hold it with your fist, really tight your fist with it. Nothing can put that in unless you 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 wants to release that in before it will go. But if you hold it tight with your feet, or you hold your feet very tight, that thing will not go out of your hand. So it's that is the way you and I should hold our Christian very tight. Because Lord Jesus Christ says he's coming back to take you and I home. Here is not our home. We are, we, are, we are a trader here. We will pass on one day. You know, some of us, we don't want to hear that one day we will die. That is the truth of the matter. One day we will pass on. Because we, you and I, God sent you and I here to come and trade. So when we finish here, we are going back home. So where? Almighty God sent you and I from. But it depends, you know, for you and I born in our family, in the, in the family, for you and I born to this earth, for you and I coming to this earth, we have no choice. We have any, we have no choice. The family we, we are born to, we have no choice. The country we now we are born to, we have no choice. We found ourselves, God just brought us there, here on this earth. We born to this family. We are in this in this country. I'm a citizen of this country. You are citizen of that country. So we have no chance. We have no choice. But uh, the citizen, how one citizen, you and I have choice to to make. So for you and I to spend eternity in heaven, we have to choose it. Deliberately, we must choose it, because if you don't choose it, nobody will choose it for you. Because heaven, heavenly race is an, is, an, is an individual race. So now, for you and I living this earth, we must make up our mind. We must choose where we will spend our eternity. Because two eternity, heaven eternity, hellfire eternity, both of them are real. Both of them exist. Because your soul, my soul never dies. 
So when you and I close our eye in dead, our spirit, our soul, we go. But the body, this body will be here on this earth, buried on this earth. It might be you haven't, you haven't, you have, you, you, you haven't uh, think about it. Please just think about it. Where are you going to spend your eternity? Have you prepared where you will spend your eternity? Have I prepared where am I going to spend? Am I going to spend eternity in heaven? Or am I going to spend eternity where Father God is not in, in, in hell fire? So it's your choice. It's my choice for us to choose. It's my choice to choose to spend eternity in heaven. I know most of us, so most of us Christians, you ask, where are you going to spend your eternity? Where do you want to spend it with? All of us, we say heaven. Hallelujah. Hundred percent. That is that is the wish of Almighty God for each and every one of us. But we must hold on to Jesus that, that holds the heaven. That when it comes to take us, when we close our eye in death, we are going to spend eternity with him. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. As he said to you, he's going to prepare a place. He's going to prepare a place. In verse 3, he said, uh, he, he said uh, and uh, if I go and uh, prepare a place for you, I will, I will come again and uh, receive you unto uh, myself, that uh, where I am, there shall uh, where I, where I, where I'm, sorry, where I am, there ye may not be also. The promises of Almighty God is yes and amen. The word of God is yes and amen. Let us be preparing. Hallelujah. That, let us be preparing. Please, I would like us to, we are seeing the book of John. Let us, in the book of John chapter 14, verse 18, let us read the word of the Lord what Almighty God says here. The word of the Lord says, I will, I will not uh, leave you comfortless. I will not come to you. That is the word of the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ promised you and I, he will not leave you and I comfortless. He's coming back to take you and I home. Let us hold on to, let us hold on to his word. Him and his word are one. Hallelujah. He's coming back to take you home. He's coming back to take me home. Christian, children of God. He's coming back to take us home. Let us be preparing. Hallelujah. Let us be preparing. Our master, our savior, he's coming to prepare, to, to, to take us home. He has promised promise you and I. Let us open to the book of, uh, let us open to the book of uh, Romans. The book of Romans, look what Father God says to you and I in the book of Romans. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. I read in Jesus' name. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I read in Jesus' name. And... Praise Master Jesus. And uh, we know that uh, all things uh, work together for good uh, to Nedeme that uh, love for God. To Nedeme who are there called according to his purpose. Praise Master Jesus. The things that, you know, at times when things happen, unpleasant, unpleasant things, we 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 are fond form of uh, fond of uh, complaining why this thing happened why did we just want everything happen good that is what we want but when the things that we are expecting is not like as we are expecting it it comes like that we complain at times the word of the, if you are the one that doing so please don't do so anymore if you can think back the things that you were asking Father God. That the, the Almighty God didn't answer you. Now, now you are thanking God that He didn't answer you those those uh, those prayers by them. Now you knew that had it been He answered me those prayers, I could have not know God. I could have not be where I am right now. On that thing could have taken me out of the law. It could have got me to somewhere. That is, it, it, it will not bring a good, a, a good, a good, a good uh, re, result. So the word of the Lord said to you and I, 
that all things work together for good for them that love God that call according to the purpose of God. So many things come to your way that you that comes you say why this thing happened? It's not this. I didn't ask for this thing, but this thing just happened like this. The Almighty God said it, it happened for a purpose. Why that thing happened? Because you love God. God doesn't want that thing. Maybe God, God is you know saving you from danger from danger. Maybe what Father God wants to give to you is better than that thing that you were asking for. He says to you and I, all things work together for him and for you, for us that love him. Hallelujah. So when you ask him something, that thing didn't come as you ask. You shouldn't be troubled. I shouldn't be troubled. I should believe all things work together for good. For me, for you that love God. Hallelujah. That we don't have to be questioning God. Why this thing happen like this? Why not, not like this? Why is it like this? Why is it like this? God is God. He know why. He said you are not to rejoice. When you are not to rejoice, children of God, when you find yourself in trouble, you find yourself in trouble, but not the trouble that you went and did evil. No, the trouble that comes because you live for Jesus. He said rejoice because it's because of him, that trouble. People now can't you like outcast. No, like you are not in on this earth. He said rejoice, I should rejoice. Call your name, source of name. Rejoice because of him. But don't you shouldn't you shouldn't do evil and the thing almighty you rejoice. He said, uh, because uh, I did evil, something happened. The word of the Lord said, Father God is not a, is not an altar of confusion. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord said, God is not an altar of confusion. You and I do something that is good. And now people are persecuting you, persecuting me for that good things. He said, rejoice. I should rejoice. Great is your reward. Great is my reward. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. As he promised you and I that uh, all this work together for good for them that love God that call according to the purpose of God. So let us put our trust in, the, in his word. Him and his word are one. Praise Master Jesus. Jesus and his word are one. We bless the name of the Lord. Amen. So as the word of the Lord said, let us open to the book of, uh, of uh, sec, uh, first. Uh, the book of Acts, Acts chapter 7. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Let us open to the book of Acts chapter 7, 55. Acts, Acts chapter 7, 55. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good. Mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. I read in Jesus' name. The book of Acts. Chapter 7, verse 55. I read in Jesus' name. But uh, he uh, being uh, full, uh, full of uh, the Holy Ghost, looking uh, up uh, steadfastly into heaven and uh, saw the glory of God and uh, Jesus uh, standing on uh, the right hand of God. Praise Master Jesus. No matter what is going on, no matter what you are passing through right now or plans and things, Look unto Jesus. Apostle Stephen, the time they were persecuting Apostle Stephen, stoning Apostle Stephen, Apostle Stephen said, he looked up, he saw Jesus Christ standing, as he said here, on the right hand of our Father, Almighty God. He saw, sorry, he saw, he saw, he said, he saw the glory. Hallelujah. He said, look up uh, and step forward into heaven and they saw the glory of God and uh, Jesus standing. Yes, yeah, Jesus, Jesus standing on the right hand of God. Jesus, that apostle Stephen saw that he's standing on the right hand of God. He told you and I, he's coming back to take you and I home. Take you and I to Father God. So let us look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. 
You know, the book of John, John chapter 14, verse 6, it said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So you and I must come. If you haven't given your life to Jesus, please, if you are there, you haven't given your life to Jesus, please, I would like you to do so. Please give your life to Jesus. It, it, it profits you everything. On this earth, you will enjoy Lord Jesus. When you finish on this earth, you will enjoy it. You will enjoy him from everlasting to everlasting. You will be with him. We will spend eternity with him. Please give your life to Jesus. If you are the one that says, I have my religion, don't need the, I don't need the Christian, please. That's your religion. The founder of your religion died, dies, buried, dies. But Jesus Christ died on the third day. He rose up again. He went back to heaven. He said he's coming back again to take all the one that believe in him, that trust in him and give, gave their life to him. He's coming back to take all of us home. Please give your life to Jesus. There is heaven. There is, there is hell. Because it's Jesus that paid the price for every, every human being. Everyone. Jesus got paid the price. It's up to you. Please, I would like you to give your life to Jesus. The blood that is shed for you, that is shed for me, is the one that wash your sins and wash my sins away. Because the blood of God, the blood of animal cannot wash your sins away, cannot wash my sins away. That is why you and I, we need the blood of Jesus, the holy blood of Jesus Christ. You and I cannot bypass to go to heaven as many eternity in heaven. Because God is holy. God Almighty is holy. Father God said in his word, there is nothing defiled. We enter the kingdom of God. That means you and I, we are sinners. So you and I, we need the holy blood, the blood of Jesus Christ. Please give your life to Jesus. Jesus Christ is alive. Please, he loves you. He's coming back to take his children home. Please, he doesn't want to miss you. And he doesn't want you to cry from everlasting to everlasting, and I know. Because eternity is real. Your, your, your soul never dies. Your soul never dies. Your spirit never dies. We live forever. Please give your life to Jesus. Please give your life to Jesus. Lord Jesus Christ loves you. Accept him as your Lord, your Savior. Call him and say, Lord, I heard what your daughter is saying right now. I give you my life. Forgive me my sin. And he will forgive you. Believe by faith as you are asking him to forgive you. As you are asking him to wash you. All your sins to forgive you. And wash you with his precious blood. He will do it for you. Believe by faith. I ask him to do it. I ask him to fill you with his Holy Spirit. Please go and buy Holy Bible. Be reading the word of the Lord. Look for a Bible church. And join the brethren. And fellowship with them. It shall be well with you in Jesus name. Amen. So we are talking about Jesus. We are talking about to you and I, children of God, that we should put our faith in him. That we should not let our heart to be troubled, be troubled. Because the trouble we know, we not help you and I. When you are, your heart, my heart is troubled, it will not help you and I. You know? The moment your heart is troubled, you are fearful, it's, torment, it's tormenting. Fear causes torment. So we should not let the enemy of our soul that bring in all those evil, we should not allow those, the enemy to use those things to be, make us to be scared. We should know all these things are my stepping soul. Step his soul to my heaven, to my, to my father's home, to the home that I belong to. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Please uh, let us go back again to the book of John, John chapter 14. John chapter 14. John chapter 14, verse 28. I read in Jesus' name. The book of John, John chapter 14. Verse 28, I read in Jesus' name. Praise Master Jesus. Ye have heard how I said, 
unto you. I go away and ne come again unto ne you. If ye love me, ye would rejoice because I said I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. You know, when the Lord Jesus Christ told the disciples, I'm going away, I'm going back to, to the one that sent me, they were sorrowful. Lord Jesus Christ told them, I'm going to Father Almighty God. He's greater than I. He that sent me to this earth is greater than I. I'm going back there. Don't worry. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come and take you home. I will come and bring you to my Father. So you and I, we have hope. The hope Jesus Christ has given to you and I, let us hold on to it. Let us hold on to the, onto, onto the ankle of the word of God. That God, Lord Jesus Christ, has promised you and I. And it will surely come to pass. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. This is the word of the Lord today. Please hold on to the word of the Lord. Let the word of the Lord that you've heard right now be your anchor. That no matter the situation, be comfort. That Jesus Christ is with you. That Jesus Christ will take you through. That one the thing that happened right now is for your, it, this thing is for your good. All things work together for good for them that love God, that call according to the purpose of God. You and I, we are called according to the purpose of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is, is good. Uh, heaven is our heaven. Heaven is our home. Heavenly home. Jesus Christ is coming to take you and I home. We is preparing divine preparation. Let us continue holding on unto the word of the Lord. We should not neglect to hold on to the word of the Lord. No matter what, is, what you are passing through, hold on to the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. This is the word of the Lord today. Please hold on to the word of the Lord. Don't let your heart be troubled. Please, Lord Jesus loves you. He cares for you. I know he saw your cries. He saw your tears. He's there for you. He never leaves you nor forsake you. Hallelujah. He will come, he will come true for you. Hallelujah. He will fight the battles for you. Hold on to him. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. Amen. For doing so. Amen. Ah, uh, see this message with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Please, my brothers, my sister, if you are sick out there, please, I will I would like to pray for you. Please just believe by faith and receive your healing by faith. And it will come to pass speedily in Jesus' name. Shall we pray? Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen. Oh, Heavenly Father, the King of glory, ancients of this. Father, there is no other God else like you. Father, you are the Most High God. You reign it in the heaven. You reign it in the earth. And the Lord of hosts is your name. Father, God Almighty, I shudder. You said according to your word, I am the I am the Lord that he led thee. Father, bring all your sons and daughters that are sick right now in the hospital at home. And then your sons and daughters right now that are listening right now to the program right now that are sick. Father, my God, you are our healer, Father. That ask for healing rain, O oh Lord. Man, I pour your healing rain upon them right now. Let your healing rain wash them. Let your healing rain purify them. Wash them all those sickness and diseases, uh, all those infirmity out of their lives right now. In the name of Jesus, Christ, my Father, my Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, my Father, heal your children. Man, I touch them by the stress of Jesus. Uh, we were here. Man, I, I speak healing not to them right now. In the name of Jesus, Christ, I speak healing not to you, that your son, that your daughters. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ says, children of God, receive your healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you for healing your children. Almighty God, you are wonderful Savior, wonderful Redeemer. Take all the glory, take all the honor, take all the praise, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Oh, Heavenly Father, thank you for healing your children. Thank you for the hope that you have given to us. Now hold on to you that you are coming back to come and take us up. Father, help all, all your sons, your daughter, all the Christians worldwide. All the one that have come to, to the knowledge of, of you, help them to come to the knowledge of you and hold on to you that you are coming back to take us home. Father, mighty God, I love you and I bless you. And I see this message with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Father, encourage your sons, your daughter, that are passing through one thing and another right now. Father, be with them and, and strengthen them through all 
oh Lord, in Jesus' mighty name I have prayed. Amen. May the Lord bless you all. Remember, bless in Jesus' name. Amen.